John Blewett, the man, the myth, the Monsignor. It is his 60th? Wow. I knew it was up there. Because it seems like he's been a priest since birth. I mean, you know, he was one of eight kids, six boys. There are five priests in that family, which may be a world record, I don't know, but it certainly impressed me. He came to the United States in 63, I think, and was in the parish, the Orlando Diocese, before the diocese was here. It's just in his blood. Everybody knows Father John everywhere he goes, and there's always a smile on their faces when they encounter him. Father John has an amazing gift with people. He's a, he's a people priest, unquestionably. His type of guy is not e easy to say no to him. Guess who's calling right now? Yeah. Well, he's a big guy, kind of a kidder, a sense of humor. Daring, courageous, and determined. Someone that really draws attention just by the simple act of walking into a room. He's not afraid to go out where nobody else will dare go out. He's not afraid to, to go into the fire. He works tirelessly for those who are in need. He's giving, he's caring, he's welcoming, he's compassionate. And sometimes he's frustrating or <laughs> maddening, but those times are few and far between. Even though Father John is large and in charge, the man is incredibly humble. His approach to parish life, it was all about relationships. He always made the people the center of everything. This was a community, and he was the pastor. And he took that role extremely seriously. There wasn't a parishioner he didn't know. And I think that's something just like the Father knows us all by name. Father John does too. He finds out what your gifts are, and he puts you to work. He just calls you to do the work of, of God, and that's what true Eucharist is. All Father John had to do was take his huge paw and put it on your shoulder and say, I got something you can do for me. And everybody would say, what is it? How can I help? He loves his faith, he loves his priesthood, and he loves his people. I have seen and witnessed firsthand, time and time again, people coming up to him and saying, Father John, do you remember me? And he'll go, why, sure, I remember you. I baptized your da 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 And the second part of that equation is, Father John, you were there for me at a time that I needed help the most. That parish was so alive and still is. I found really a tremendous home here with Father John in this community where the Eucharist is at the center of everything. He set aside the early part of Saturday in order to visit people. And he'd show up at your door at nine o'clock in the morning where people would be in their pajamas and stuff like that. <laughs> he knocks on everybody's doors. He had big, big shoes. If he got his foot in the door, then that led to a nice visit. And it's the kind of thing that people don't forget. He is truly the hands and feet of Jesus with the development of the Pathways to Care facility, which is a respite care center for homeless veterans and homeless adults. He worked endlessly for years to get that facility here in Seminole County. Anything he puts his mind to, it happens. There's no obstacles. He pushes everything aside and he gets the job done. Pathways to Care, I think, was, was a novel idea at the time. In order for that to happen, he pushed a lot of people in, in a lot of different directions, and he wasn't afraid to ask not just Catholics, but all kinds of people to get, to get involved. The Gospels are so full of Jesus talking about how we are to go out and to reach out to the lost. I'd say Father John spent a great deal of his life bringing people back. He was a rescuer, always. He has been entrusted with the Gospel not only to proclaim it, but to also put it into, into practice, to put it into action and draw others to, to be engaged with the commands and the teachings of Jesus. So when you look at the Beatitudes, you're looking at John Blewett. God only knows what he can do next, but he, you know that whatever he puts his hand to is successful. All we wish him is the best, that he can enjoy his life and his priesthood and continue to do what he does and what he has done for all his life to love the Lord and love the people. He 
stands out in my life as one of the great leaders uh, of the Christian community. I think that's his, his greatest gift, a remarkable pastor. John, you might be retired, but the work still continues. You're a priest forever. So continue to share the love of Christ with those who uh, got places in your life because still now, you're still ministering. I think God will give him a pass through the gates. Thank you for everything that you've provided us as a parish community. And I am so excited to consider you a cherished friend. I love Father John and I know you do as well. I don't think I can explain, now I'm not gonna be able to talk, what my friendship with Father John means. He, uh, in some of our worst times, he was always there. It didn't matter if it was day or night. If we needed him, we called him, he was there. I hope that he is given the grace and the strength to continue, because if he's gone, it will leave a huge hole and an awful lot of people's hearts.